Hey guys, I recently got personalized plates for a Model Y and I wanted to share that with you. I had a configuration in mind, but I needed to wait until after the registration renewal went through and it did. The renewal was $741. Thank you, California. Needless to say, this is the most I have ever spent on annual vehicle fees. For those of you that don't know, yearly vehicle fees in California are based on many things, including a percentage of the vehicle's total value. And our Model Y was, I mean, has been the most expensive car we have ever owned. So it's no surprise that it's also the highest in fees. We paid an initial fee of $50 to get those plates. And every year we want to retain those plates. I have to pay $100 on top of the regular renewal fees. Why am I sharing this with you? Because I love talking about cars, but also because in some of the update videos about our Model Y, I get negative feedback regarding my feelings towards our Model Y. Are you drunk, dude? Apparently, I hate our car and have regrets of having buying it. You have regrets in buying something that no longer makes you special. The Tesla is not the car for you. Nothing further from the truth, but hey, you are entitled to an opinion about my opinion. It won't matter how many times I say that this is the best car we have ever owned or how unique the experience has been to us. You will have your opinion and that's fine. Full self-driving will occur and you're too negative and you're not being honest at all. I have made other mistakes with cars and I'll be the first one to admit it. I have gotten rid of cars after six months of ownership when I realized it's not the car I wanted. Right now, getting rid of a Model Y wouldn't be a problem. I mean, I will take a hit, but that hit wouldn't be nearly as bad because with the used car market, I could get good money for it. So no, I do not hate a Model Y. And if I mention the bad things that I, that I dislike about the car is because I don't believe there's such a thing as a perfect car. And if that offends you, well, I'm sorry. Sell your condo. Getting personalized plates for our Model Y is a big deal for me. I have only done it once before in 31 years that I have owned vehicles. The first one being my beloved E30. Back in 2014, I saw the current configuration that I have on it, the E30, which is not actually the E30, but more like the E3, the letter O, because for some reason it didn't take the value zero. So I had to cheat a little bit. It is a perfect speller. That's not the case with a lot of plays that I see on the road. The words have been so mutilated that it's hard to understand what the owner wants to say about himself. I started playing with the idea. My wife didn't carry the way. She said, go ahead and do it. And I wanted to get personalized plays for the car because that, that's how connected I feel to the car. She loves it. I love it. I feel it's a very special car to us. And if you have watched any of my other videos, you probably have heard me say that I have zero brand loyalty and I don't keep cars long. The 30 has been the car that has been the best ownership experience and coincidentally has been the cheapest to buy at $3,500. I have kept it the longest and I got those plates and this is the second time I feel strong about a car like this. Obviously all the perfect spellers were already taken thinking about it. I mean Tesla has sold almost 2 million vehicles to date and I mean anything that I could think of was already taken. And if you think about it, also all the other brands that are selling EVs. So anything that was a perfect speller within seven characters was already taken. It was figured out already. And I got the idea from your comments. People keep referring to my car as the MYP on the comments. So I tried it and it was available. I like it because it jives with the format of my other car. And it says what I want to say about my car, that is the Model Y Performance. By the way, a lot of you ask me if the premium to pay for the performance package is worth the extra money. And I think it is because it's only 8% more than the long range. And it gives you a couple of features that you will enjoy once you have the car. I mean, the performance, of course, like the aesthetic differences, you know, the little wing, the, the factors a little bit lower, the red calipers, the bigger wheels do make for a more aggressive look. I see a lot of long range Tesla Model Ys that have like aftermarket red calipers and the wing to make it appear like if it was a performance. And in my head, I'm thinking that it's people that wanted the performance package, but didn't want to pay the extra money. And once they have the long range, they want to get the look off, but you're not fooling me. And I doubt that you phone anybody else. So if I were you, I would just go and pay the extra money because I think that in the back of your head, you're always gonna be wishing that you got the performance. If that's your initial thought, of course. Um, other than that, this is all, this is it for today. I, in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be embarking on that trip to Florida. So if you wanna 
see how it went. I'm gonna drive that Model Y all the way to Florida from California. One key factor is I love driving. And another thing is those tickets are so expensive right now. Uh, my wife is flying and she paid like $1,400 to Destin, Florida. There's a lot of connection flights and all that. It's a 16 hour trip flying. I guess in, in our Model Y, it's gonna be like what, three, four days. So if you wanna find out how it went for me, uh, subscribe to my channel and activate the notifications. And that's it for now. See you later. I listen to you and it's best if you sell the Tesla ASAP to buy your Lexus or Mercedes. You have regrets in buying something that no longer makes you special. I lost the special feelings, dot the Tesla is not the car for you. I would like to see a video of you driving the Mercedes or Lexus and after 10,000 miles post a video. I'm going to predict what the video will be about, dot the Lexus or Mercedes doesn't make you feel special anymore. About Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Everyone knew it's not going to be in the car, yet people buy and argue why it does not have it. It's similar to panel gaps, everyone knows, yet still accepts the car and makes a big deal about it. Everyone wants to feel special. That's why it's so important to research and research before you accept the car. I have a Tesla Model Y and I could care less about Android Auto, Apple CarPlay built-in, panel gaps, free charging, and charging time. I buy a car for transportation. I do not buy a car to feel special. Opening up charge network to other is the only way to go. The Tesla will charge in 20 minutes the others will be stuck for hours. This will drive Tesla to give you self-park and summon so in the long run better for you. The perk of free charging is a perk. The cost of you having to install a charger at your home is all on your choice. Sell your condo, not trying to be critical but just a critique of some of your statements. You have not owned the car, with a 1000 miles, long enough to know anything yet, except that the recharging in the marketplace sucks. Are you drunk dude? Not even close to a BMW Sport Pack. Tesla is a cheap quality car. Handling suspension interior quality are cheap as a cheap car. It's similar to a cheap Toyota. Full self-driving will occur and you're too negative. The car is very quiet and you're not being honest at all.